soil erosion and conservation. The outer soft layer of earth on which the plants grow is known as soil. It's very important for life on earth. Plants need soil to grow. Plants provide food to most animals. Plants also purify air and influence rainfall. So, soil also indirectly plays an important role in supporting animal life and influencing weather conditions. Without soil, there will not be any plant life on land. Soil is a mixture of rock particles of various sizes. How is soil formed? Soil is formed by breaking down of rocks into tiny particles. The constant action of wind, water and heat weaken the binding power of the rocks. Rainwater seeps into tiny cracks in the rocks. Over the years, tiny rock particles and dead remains of plants and animals get deposited in these cracks. Finally, pieces of rock split off and wear away. This process of wearing away of rocks is called weathering of rocks. Composition of Soil Soil is made up of different types of soil particles. Sand These are the largest soil particles. Silt These particles are smaller than sand particles, but bigger than clay particles. Clay these are the smallest soil particles. Soil contains dead remains of plants and animals. It is known as humus. Soil also contains air and water. Here is an activity to see the different components of soil. Aim to see the different components of soil. Materials needed a glass, soil, water. Method Take an empty glass of water through which you will be able to see the soil. Pour a cup of garden soil into it. Fill the glass with water. Let the water in glass stand for about 10 minutes. Now look at the water carefully. You will notice different layers of soil. The gravel or the stones settle down at the bottom. Above that, you will see the layer of sand. The silt layer settles above the sand. The clay settled on top of the silt. The top layer will have piece of leaves, twigs, etc. This is humus. Here is an activity to show that soil contains water. Aim to show that soil contains water. Material needed. A jar with lid. Soil. Method. Take some soil in a dry plastic jar. Cover it tightly with a lid. Keep it out in the hot sun. After about half an hour, remove the lid. You will see tiny droplets of water on the lid. This shows the soil contains water. Here is an activity to show that soil contains air. Aim To show that soil contains air. Material, a jar, soil and water. Method, put some soil in a plastic jar. Pour water over it. You will see bubbles coming up. There are air bubbles. The air present in the soil comes up. When water poured in the soil takes the place of air. Soil erosion. We know that soil is formed by the action of wind, rain and other weather changes. The topmost layer of soil, called top soil, is the fertile layer of soil because it is rich in humus. The process by which the top soil wears away by wind and water is called soil erosion. This reduces the fertility of soil. Soil erosion by water when an area receives excess of rainwater, which the ground can absorb, the excess water flows to the lowest level, carrying the topsoil with it. Soil erosion by water is greater in hilly areas. 
because the water flows down with a great force carrying the top soil into rivers the rivers carry the soil slow down in the plains and deposit it over the years the soil deposits cause the rivers to change their course resulting in floods in coastal areas the waves of seas and oceans severely wear away the coastal land especially during the storm soil erosion by wind strong winds blow away the top soil of a dry place or area with little vegetation soil erosion by the wind is maximum in deserts resulting in sand dunes soil erosion by human activities the vegetation of a region protects soil erosion trees and grasses serve as wind breaks and their roots hold the soil together protecting the soil from the action of both rain and wind people cut down trees to meet their needs such as for housing establishing industries farming fuels etc this is called deforestation it results in the bare land which wears away by winds and water overgrazing on the farmland also causes soil erosion soil conservation soil formation is an ongoing process some soil takes hundreds of thousands of years to form but it takes much less time to wear away it is important to protect it from erosion plants get most of their nutrients from the top soil the protection of soil from erosion is called soil conservation some methods of soil conservation can be followed afforestation the most effective method is planting more trees to hold the soil The plantation of more number of trees in an area is called afforestation. Crop rotation. Growing different crops in the same fields is called crop rotation. Fields should be cultivated regularly with different crops. After harvesting a crop, the fields remain bare before raising another crop. Therefore, the soil should be covered with cover crops. like grass which will prevent the soil from being eroded by the wind and rain step farming in hilly regions hill slopes are cut into steps or terraces to grow crop this reduces the force of running water as a result the running water flows down deposits some soil of the previous step on the next step without carrying the whole with itself growing hedges another method of reducing soil erosion is by growing hedges around the farmlands these serve as wind breaks protecting the soil from the speedy winds building embankments rivers erode soil on their banks so embankments or bunds are built along with their banks to prevent the soil erosion they also prevent floods which causes soil erosion we must prevent soil erosion it takes about 500 years for nature to make 1 inch of top soil